Don't be jelly. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> don't be corny. Don't be corny. <laughs> don't be jelly. Jelly looks. I love jelly for spring. Yeah. Like it's cool. Yeah. Spring, summer, I guess anytime. But really, I think spring, summer. And we had four that we came out with last year, right? But. But. But wait, there's more. <laughs> exactly. Four more to be exact. Right? Yeah. And I think now we have kind of had those uh, pastel y colors last mm -hmm. time, and this year we kind of have the primary. Yeah, a little, little bit little. more bold. Okay. Bit more bold. You're going to show us what to do with them, though. I sure am. I like yeah. it. I'm looking forward to this one. I hope you like Karen's spring designs that I'm going to take credit for because I didn't do anything, but I'm going to take credit anyway. Good. And don't be jelly. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a fun Easter design. We're gonna do a full coverage kind of a nail with the, um, with the jellies. And I'm also gonna show you how to extend your smile line. So if you're working on somebody who maybe has a shorter nail bed or you wanna really just kind of balance out their nail bed with your extension, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So we're gonna have some fun with our jelly acrylics and let's get started. Okay, so I've grabbed a nice little sample of all of our jelly colors here. I have our four original colors. We had the orange, yellow, kind of a light soft blue, and then our pink. But then our new ones, we've got a red, a green, a darker blue, and a purple. So I'm just gonna really quickly, just wanna show you guys what all of these colors are gonna look like. So again, the original colors, kind of that orangey peach color, our yellow, And then our kind of light blue teal kind of a color. And then our really pretty pink. Okay, so you guys, these colors are going to be great for Easter, for spring, for summer coming up, hopefully coming up soon. Okay, so our new colors now, we've got the red, we've got a green, we do have another blue, but this one's a little bit darker. And then we've got our purple. So we do have a really pretty rainbow of all of our colors, okay? So you can mix these and match them together. They fade together really nice, which is actually kind of what we're gonna do on our designs today. So I'm gonna use kind of a, just a variety of the colors today. You can use all of them, you can use some of them. Just kind of figure out what colors you like to work with together, okay? So I'm gonna come in and prep a, just a couple of nails here today, just like we always do. Pushing back the cuticles, making sure that's really well cleaned up. And then we're gonna come in with the electric file. I'm gonna turn my speed up to about 5,000 RPMs, and I'm using a medium mandrel, or medium arbor band on my mandrel. Working around that cuticle, and then just follow through the body of the nail. So again, small little circular movements around that cuticle, and then just across the body of the nail. Okay, nice and quick and easy. Use my manicure brush, dust all that dust off of the nail. Make sure to get down into those sidewalls, and I brush in the direction that the nail grows so that I pull all of that dust out of the sidewalls rather than pushing it down into the sidewalls. We're gonna use our swipe, a little bit on my manicure brush, get in there, scrub those nails nice and clean, get all the dust, all the germs, all the bacteria off the nail, and this is gonna leave our nail with a nice pH balanced surface for our product to adhere to. We're gonna use two coats of our protein bond. And our protein bond is a bonder, it's not a primer. It doesn't have the methacrylic acid that a lot of other primers do. So it's just gonna work like a double-sided tape where it's gonna stick down to that natural nail. But as you can see, it leaves kind of a sticky surface. It's not gonna to dry to that chalky dull look anymore. It's gonna leave that sticky surface, which is exactly what we want. We want a nice sticky surface for our acrylic to grab onto, okay? I'm gonna go through and do two coats, get really good coverage. We always wanna do two just for that added insurance, just to make sure if you've got a client who might be maybe a problem lifter, maybe they have a harder time keeping nails on, two coats of the Protein Bond is gonna give us a really good, um, really good tacky surface for our product to adhere to. 
Okay, so let's grab our forms. Let's start sculpting one nail and then we're gonna do part of that and then I'm gonna do the second nail and you'll see why in just a second. So we're gonna do part of one first and then we'll do the second and then we'll come back to the first. So we're gonna start on our first nail here. Got my form right up underneath there. Now the color that I'm gonna to use today is our Cover Flamingo. This is actually one of my favorites, kind of for spring and summer. It's just a little bit brighter. And especially with our jelly acrylics, I think it's gonna be a really pretty combination. Okay, so on this nail, I'm gonna build out a stiletto. Now if I was gonna do a smile line, which I'm gonna to do today, if I was gonna do a smile line to the end of her natural nail, this part and this part would be kind of out of balance. So when you're doing your um, your two tones, you wanna to make sure that the nail bed is at least as long as what the extension is. Otherwise, it tends to look out of balance. If you have, say, your nail bed is less than the length of your extension, it's just gonna look short and kind of stubby. So that's why I like to extend out that nail bed just a little bit more so we have a little bit more balance in our nail. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with a pearl of our flamingo. Okay. And I'm just gonna drain that out just a little bit on my towel, not too much, but just a little bit. I'm gonna drop that right down, kind of at, right in my arch area. I'm gonna press out the back of that just to blend that in down to that natural nail. And then the product has started to kind of flow a little bit onto my form, which is exactly what I want, okay? I'm gonna come in on the sides, and now I'm gonna to start to create my smile line onto my form. Okay, so I'm just using the edge of my brush, just kind of tucking in, and I'm gonna just start to create my smile line. Now you guys, if it's a little bit cooler in your room, your product is gonna set a little bit slower. So sometimes with the cover products, they do have a slower set time than our speed products. So you might have to just kind of work with them just a little bit more again if your room is a little cool. And I think my room is a little bit cooler today. So it's not quite setting up as quickly as I would like. But I'm just gonna work that into place. And actually sometimes it's nice to have that little bit of extra working time when you're trying to create that smile line because that way you can get it really nice and crisp. All right, so I'm just again pressing in with the edge of my brush, creating my smile line. I'm gonna clean up just around that free edge. Okay, and one thing I like to do, once I have my smile line fairly perfected, I'm just gonna start here and just pull my brush forward and just pull my brush forward. That way I'm gonna get a really nice crisp edge I'm not gonna have all these little indents where I'm pressing in my brush. So just pull forward. Okay, now I wanna make sure that my smile line is nice and straight. So I'm actually gonna look at that nail and I can even turn that hand around so that I can see what my client is gonna see. Cause when she looks at her nails, I wanna make sure that those smile lines are nice and straight. So I'm gonna turn her around and it looks fairly straight. I'm just gonna touch this up just a little bit on both sides just to make sure. Okay, so once I have that created, I'm gonna go ahead and build up from my cuticle through the rest of that extension here. So this way, if you look at it from the side, you can see I don't have any product near my cuticle area and I really do need to make a little bit more of an arch up into my stress area because I'm gonna build out a, a stiletto and I wanna make sure that that arch is nice and thick to support that extra length. So I'm gonna pick up a second pearl of my Flamingo. And this time I'm not gonna drain out the liquid. I wanna make sure that pearl is a little bit on the wetter side so that it's going to just really kinda of melt down into that natural nail and really get a good chance to bond to the keratin protein in your nail. So I have that finger kind of pointed straight down. I'm working out my cuticle area, just kind of pressing that. And now I'm just gonna to start to guide that product down into my smile line and into that stress area. I'm not using a lot of pressure with my brush. I'm just kind of lightly feathering over the surface of it 
just to pull that product forward. All right, got it right down to that smile line that I created. And I'm just gonna again come in and clean up around my edges, just pulling straight through those sides so that the top layer really blends into that bottom layer and that we've got a nice crisp smile line. All right, so I think I have enough product right through my cuticle area up into my arch. I'm gonna look at it straight down the barrel as well so I can see I definitely have enough thickness there. So I think we're gonna be good. Now here's the trick that I want you guys to kind of pay attention to. If you're still struggling a little bit getting that smile line crisp, you don't have to go on to finish this next nail, this nail right away. I can go on to my next nail, sculpt out my nail bed, and then I'm gonna come back in and show you how to file in and really customize and perfect that smile line. So I'm gonna leave this nail here as it is, let that set up, and then we're gonna go ahead and work on our second nail. So again, you guys, if you're working in salon and you're doing more than one nail, which you probably are, it's okay to go on to the next nail without completely finishing this one. Let it set up and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so for our second nail, we're gonna sculpt out again another stiletto. So I'm gonna pinch my form together just a little bit at the end. Get that form right up underneath that natural nail. Okay. So we are ready to go with this one. So this one, I'm just gonna do kind of a marble look with all of, the, of our different jelly colors. Just blend everything all together, okay? So I'm gonna get all of my colors opened up and ready to go. I'm gonna set my cover flamingo off to the side. Okay, and I'm actually gonna throw in a little bit maybe of our speed white on this nail just to kind of pull these nails all together. All right. So I'm gonna start building out from my free edge back. If you wanna start at your cuticle area forward, it's perfectly fine. It's up to you, however you wanna do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of pick some colors that I feel like are gonna blend well together. So you kind of have to think back to your color wheel. So colors that blend together are gonna to be things like the um, yellow and blue. That's gonna kind of come together and maybe form a green, okay? So things that are gonna to blend together, kind of keep those together. So let's start maybe with our pink and a little bit of our purple. So I'm double dipping my brush and I'm even gonna dip just a little bit into my white. So that's gonna give me a little bit more dimension and texture to my blend here. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of start to form this onto the nail. I'm just building just kind of a thin layer. I'm not trying to sculpt the whole nail with my jellies. I'm going to do a clear overlay over the surface of it, and that's going to be where our strength and durability is. Right now, I'm just adding in color. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of press that out nice and thin, move that white around so it kind of marbles into your colors. Okay. All right, so let's pick up a pearl of our green. So I'm gonna just kind of dip half of my brush in, and then I'm gonna turn it over and dip the other half of my brush into the yellow. Okay. And then I can come back into my white and just do just a quick dip, just to get a little bit of, a little bit of dimension for that. And just gonna kind of blend this out onto the nail. Blend those colors together. And just kind of press them out onto the nail. Now, one of the reasons I actually like to use that little bit of white in there is, again, it's gonna give you kind of a marble look, but I also like it for right around that smile line or right around that connection between your extension and that natural nail so that you don't necessarily see the kind of that line between the two. So that little bit of white is gonna kind of cover that up and maybe mask it a little bit. Let's pick up maybe a little bit of our red, a little bit of our orange, and again, maybe a little bit of our white. 
just kind of marble that all together in there. And just kind of press up and into that nail. Just blending those colors out. So as you press and move that product around, it's really just gonna marble and blend on its own. So don't worry too much about perfecting that. It's gonna go where, where it needs to go. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit more, maybe a little more blue, maybe right up in there. And when I'm adding these pearls, I'm actually using them fairly wet. So this way, it's just gonna kind of flow and blend all together. And maybe just a little tiny bit more yellow right up with that green. Okay, now I'm gonna add in some of our Celebrate and Moody glitters. Now the Celebrates are the larger ones. So these are the Celebrates, the larger ones, and then the Moody's. So a long time ago, somebody told me the difference between Celebrate and Moody is you wanna celebrate big, and when you're Moody, it wants to be small. So whoever told me that, thank you, because that's how I always remember which is which. So now that our product is still wet, I'm gonna pick up those confettis and I'm just gonna set them right down in wherever I want to. Now, if you can't get them into the product, you turn your brush around and just really press them down in there. You want them set pretty well down into the acrylic. Go ahead and add your little moodies wherever you want to. Get them down in there. Now, if you feel like your product isn't wet enough for your confettis to sit down in, go ahead and pick up just a small pearl of your Speed Clear. And you can just use that small little pearl just to kind of wet the surface. That way your pro or your confettis are gonna stick. Okay. And again, go ahead and press down in. All right, I think I've got my colors right where I want them. So now at this point, I'm gonna overlay the whole nail with my Speed Clear so that when I go to file, I'm not gonna file my design out. Okay. And this again is why you wanna make sure that those confettis are pressed down into the nail so that when you do file, if you filed off a little bit of your clear, it's not gonna file down into your confetti. Okay, so again, just place my product at my cuticle area and then just let it flow down the surface of the nail. And I'm just gonna start to kind of blend that through, capping the whole extension. I'm gonna come back, I've got a little bit of a lower area. I wanna make sure that I build up. I'm gonna drain out a little bit of my extra liquid, drop that down and blend up to that stress area. And then I'm gonna again pull forward to blend that out. Just wanna make sure I get that whole edge. All right, I need just a little bit more right at my point of my nail. So again, just a small pearl, and I'm gonna blend that back up in. And you notice the angle of my brush. So again, I'm pulling towards my arch to keep my free edge nice and thin and a little bit thicker at my arch. And I'm kind of have my brush at about a 45 degree angle. So if you can see, that's the angle that I'm really creating. So if I had my brush up here, I would end up pulling all of my product away from my free edge. But here, it's just gonna kind of flow underneath that angle. Okay, okay so that one we're gonna let set. Let's come back to this nail. So now at this point, our nail is set. So if I need to perfect that smile line a little bit more, I can grab a brand new 150 grit file. Don't take the edges off, okay? Because you're gonna want that sharp edge right down at the base of our smile line. We're not gonna be filing up near skin, so you don't have to worry about that cutting a client. Normally you would take off that sharp edge, but for this technique, you don't need to. So I'm just going to just file with my file completely perpendicular to that nail. So straight up and down. 
I don't want to be angling it at all. So just straight up and down, I'm going to come right around that smile line and just perfect that smile line. Get that nice and crisp. And you'll notice that I try to keep my file connected to that whole, um, that whole smile line. See, my file just popped off, so I'm just going to come back in and stay connected all the way through. If you just start filing in short choppy strokes, you're going to see every one of those short little choppy strokes when we do our extension. So keep that file connected all the way through, and that's going to perfect your smile. Okay. At this point, just use your manicure brush. Now notice when I'm filing and when I'm brushing, I have my finger underneath to support that nail and to support that form so that the form doesn't pop off. Okay. Now, if it does pop off, it's not a major ordeal. Just kind of resituate it. Make sure that it's right up underneath that extension that you've created. Okay. All right, so I've filed that. We're good to go there. I'm gonna come back in with one more coat of my protein bond just to make sure that I have, again, a nice tacky surface. It's not 100% necessary, but I like to make sure just to have that little extra, extra support. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna do a line next to our smile line to really make our smile line pop. So I'm gonna come in with a little bit of my Speed White. I'm just gonna pick up a small pearl. I'm gonna drain out a little bit of that liquid and I'm going to just drop that right at that free edge. I'm gonna bring that up around, right up to my smile line, and I'm just gonna push that up, right up to that smile line. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Just tuck it up in there and really just push that up. I'm not trying to create a whole lot of that white. I just want just a really thin line right around that smile line, just for an accent. Now, any product that you get up over the surface of the nail, don't worry, because anything on top is just gonna file out. Okay, I am gonna add just a little bit more, just to make sure that I've got good coverage all the way around. Make sure that I've got good, even, even white all the way through that smile line. Now, we're going to again do this kind of in, a, in phases like we just did. So I'm going to put my white on and then I'm going to go on again to my next nail. Let this set up a little bit more and then again if you feel like you need to, you can come back in and you can file out that smile line. So if maybe you got your white a little bit too thick, you could again, once it's set, go back through with your file and really customize that smile line. All right, so this one, it's already started to set, but now is a really good time that I can come in and I can pinch in that C curve. You can use your magic wand to come in and pinch right through that arch area, right through your extension area, and then you can also come in and pinch that free edge. So that way when you're working with stilettos, you can get that really nice tight C curve. And again, it's kind of a back and forth. I'm gonna work on this nail, and then I'm gonna work on this nail. And then this one's going to be set, and then this one's going to be set. So it's kind of that alternating back and forth. And you just kind of have to find your own rhythm and your own flow and learning how, um, how long your product is going to take to set and when it gets into those, those certain phases where you can press in or you can file. Okay. All right. So I think our nail is set here enough. So again, I'm just going to come through very lightly just to really crisp up that white and make sure that it is perfectly even okay now again at this point you guys you can make the decision if you wanted to have some of that white fade out into your free edge for your design you are more than welcome to just leave that and let it fade and again let it be kind of like the marble that we did on this one or you can go through and file it just like I did. Personal preference, what you, whatever you want your design to look like. All right, so one more time with the protein bond, just for that added insurance. 
it should be fine, but I always like to make sure. Okay, so we've got our white on there. I'm taking out a little bit more of our confettis. So we've got our celebrates and our moodies. And I'm gonna again, just come in. Now this one, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use the white for the marble. I just want just my clear jellies on this one. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit here. So let's start, uh, maybe let's start with a little bit of our pink, maybe a little bit of the red. Ooh, that'd be a really pretty Valentine's nail, now that I'm seeing that. That's kind of the fun thing, you know, as you guys start to create your designs, you're gonna get inspiration from yourself, you know, from the color combinations that you create. So remember those combinations when it comes to that time. So I know Valentine's is past, but it's coming back next year. So remember those designs, remember those color combinations. Pick up a little bit of our orange, a little bit of our yellow in there. And again, you guys, I'm not really building up a lot of thickness to this nail at this point, because again, I'm gonna cap this with our clear. And I wanna make sure that I'm getting my confettis pressed down into this layer and the clear is then going to build up the structure of the nail. All right, let's see here. I think maybe we need a little bit of the blue in here, just for a little bit more dimension. And go with a little bit of the lighter, and then we'll take a little bit of that darker in there too. All right, now oh, I really think I'm liking this color combination. Okay, I'm just pressing in my sides to really give me that nice tapered stiletto look. I'm gonna pick up a couple of my confettis, get my little moodies in there, get my celebrate in there, make sure that I'm celebrating big and keeping my moody small. Really press those down in. I'm gonna use the back of my brush to just get that right down in there. All right, so I think I've got everything where I want it. I'm gonna come back with my speed clear. Now I'm gonna just drain out just a little bit of the liquid. I want a little bit of flow, but not too much. So I'm gonna turn my brush around, blend that back up to my smile line, pull that right up into those corners and then I'm gonna blend that forward. Making sure to cap the whole nail, or sorry, making sure to cap just the free edge. We don't need to cap the whole nail. Okay, so just capping our jellies. And I think I'm gonna add just one more pearl. Blend that up to our smile line and then blend forward. Well, it looks like we had a little bit of an air pocket right in there, so I wanna make sure that I go back and fill that in. All right. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna let that one set. I'm gonna go ahead and file these out and I'll finish up the design and we'll show you the final product. All right, you guys, so I've finished up the set. Hopefully you enjoy the new jelly acrylics that we're launching during the sale. And if you haven't gotten them yet, you still have time to grab them. you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe also if you didn't know we're on so many other channels check us out on TikTok Instagram LinkedIn Facebook snapchat the list goes on please 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 check us out